thought that uh, Lucknow were chasing 180, but it seemed they forgot that they had to chase in 20 overs. And the way they were going, uh, it was a damn squib after watching two close games in the last two days. Uh, once again, they came back to the same Rahul and his uh, company, forgetting that they had to chase within 20 overs and not 25 overs. Hello everyone, welcome to Straight Bad with Gulf News and Mr. Cricket UAE, that is Anis Sajan. We are here to discuss today's IPL match, that is uh, Royal, Royal Challenges Bangalore's win over Lucknow Super Giants. Uh, it turned out to be a uh, promised match, but delivered little, I would say, but uh, I will let Anis uh, sum it up for us. Thank you, Sham. Hello, Mr. Gautam. Hello, Chavi. Good to have you and hello to all the lovely people of Gulf News. Yes, you're right, Sham. Thought that uh, Lucknow were chasing 180, but it seemed they forgot that they had to chase in 20 overs. And the way they were going, uh, it was a damn squib after watching two close games in the last two days. Uh, once again, they came back to the same Rahul and his uh, company, forgetting that they had to chase within 20 overs and not 25 overs. Charvi, Charvi, we have a new guest with us. That is Charvi Bhatt. Uh, she is the former UAE cricket cricketer and now a TV pundit. So let's go to her right away and still at the start of the Bangalore inning, 64 for uh, four in 7.1 overs. Did you think they made, they would make it to 181? Uh, well, they needed uh, they needed a steady partnership, which uh, they got off Faf Duplessis and Shabazz Ahmed, um, and courtesy the few runs that came off their willow. That 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 partnership was key in those middle overs, and uh, it's a tough wicket to bat on. Not a simple wicket in comparison to the other grounds. It's nippy. We saw Jason Holder getting those odd bounces. We saw that in the second innings as well. So it was not going to be simple for even Lucknow to chase this total. So anything above 160 would have been a challenge. And it's been a record in this IPL so far that all the matches that were played at D.Y. Patel, anything over 160 has been a challenge uh, for the sides to be chasing. Uh, Gautam is a sports editor. Gautam, uh, sorry, he's no longer the sports editor. He's a senior associate editor now. So, uh, Gautam, tell us something about our Fab Duplessis no knock. A brilliant under pressure, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, see, Faf is a person who, who brings so much, you know, value for money to whichever franchisee he goes. The way he paced his innings, suddenly you see that uh, at the back end of the innings, he's, he's 50 plus, he's 60 plus. And he's, he's always there. He bats deep, takes you to whatever, you know, goal you need to achieve. And so that, you know, later, uh, I mean, uh, uh, DK did not get the chance to, you know, uh, wield his willow that much. But they took it to 181 and which was good enough. And as Charvi says, anything over six, uh, 160 at the DIY Patel Stadium is a stiff uh, total. But did you at any point feel that uh, Bangalore's 181 was in danger of being overhauled by Lucknow since because they bat very deep. Uh, honestly, um, as I'm... Yeah, shall we go on? Yeah, I mean, they, they do bat deep, but, you know, the conditions were uh, a bit a bit tough for both the sides. And, uh, you know, Lucknow Super Giants, there were times when I think they got a little hasty. I, I'm sure Anissa would agree with me that they were they were not so resilient in their middle overs. You know what I observed in this game that they were trying to hit the ball too hard rather than time the ball or place the ball. And that's what's happened when you try to hit the ball. Uh, you're not able to find the placement and get the gaps. And uh, they only depend on the captain, uh, Rahul, uh, when chasing a target. But I probably beg to differ on that D.Y. Patel. The scores have been chased. In fact, big totals have been chased. Maybe this might be one of those wickets where it was difficult. But I felt uh, there was no intent shown by the... Lucknow batsman. And once again, they left it strongest too late to come. They feel he's a superman who will come and hit uh, 30 runs in two overs. Uh, 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 Gautam Manis makes a good point about Stoyne's batting order. But but generally, you if you look at the teams now, they are very, very keen on getting this left-right combination going on, which is why you see Kral Pandey coming so early. And last time we saw uh, so I think it was one of the again they also had a different uh, different uh, 
order. So is that a problem here because the insistence on a left uh, left right combination is it disrupting the the, uh, the intent or the chase rather? Not really. It depends on the, you know how you are. If if the wicket demands that you you kind of uh, stay there a bit and you wait for the right opportunities, right balls to hit, or pick the right bowlers to hit. I mean, today what happened was we'll, we'll also have to factor in the exceptional, uh, you know, in 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 those two spells that uh, Hazelwood did the damage. So uh, it's not necessarily uh, yes, much is made of these matchups these days, but left right combination shouldn't tamper with the with the speed of the chase per se. Javi, so you've been a player, so does this affect because? Uh, some some batsmen prefer to have uh, regular slots, but that's no longer the case in T20. T20 is you now everybody bats everywhere. Is that a problem? No, uh, it's not a problem. Um, you know, uh, as a as a cricketer, you should learn how to adapt to different situations. You know, the game situation could be anything, and uh, that's the real test of you being a sports person, especially a cricketer. And it's not it's not really a problem. Be it a left right combination, they do it. Uh, to uh, you know, to get the inconsistency aspect in the bowlers to keep you know when you have a fielder when you have a left right combination going on you have the field that's changing every ball and if the if the so, strike is getting rotated you're tiring yeah. the fielders out it's also a strategy that you use mm -hmm. you know you mentally yep. make that impact on on the players from a batting perspective you know you've got you know you, then you've got a variety of shots that you can play you've got scoring runs you know the bowler is going to bowl a loose odd delivery and once they start bowling those loose odd deliveries then you capitalize on it so the left right combination is is a good thing and a bad thing for both sides yeah but that also throws the bowler a bowler's length and line away is and you constantly have now, to of course change. that's the in, in the inconsistency aspect of uh, you know getting that out of the bowler getting that inconsistency because the maximum number of runs you can't hit a you can hit a six a great batsman will be able to hit a six of a very very good delivery but most what we see the trends now the batsmen are great but the 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 shots they're coming off certain lines being erred here and there uh, okay coming back to hazelwood hazelwood four four wickets did did the damage right how good was it danish <laughs> You know, obviously, you have to give it to him. You know, like he bowled in the right channels. Uh, he was making sure that he bowled right at the off stump. And you have to say the umpire also was a bit uh, lenient to him, not allowing that wide. I mean, I'm not giving that as an excuse for Lucknow's loss. They were never in the hunt. Let me be very honest. They had the game, but uh, let's give it to the bowler. He bowled well. Uh, and when you are defending 180, you need one bowler to do well. And uh, they already have uh, uh, the other Indian guy who keeps getting them wickets. Uh, I keep forgetting Arshil his name. Uh, Arshal Patel. He's a rock star. I'll tell you. From the time he's yeah. joined, uh, this guy's uh, he's made a lot of difference. One match he was away, they were clobbered all around the park. And today with Hazelwood supporting uh, Sir Patel, it was a different RCB on the park. How was your favorite bowler, um, uh, Siraj? He bowled well. Let's be very honest. Uh, uh, I generally he leaks a lot of runs. But as I said, the intent without taking anything away from Siraj, there was not much intent. In the beginning, there was something there, but as I said, they're trying to hit the hard ball, the ball too hard rather than place the ball or time the ball. And I felt this could have been chased, but uh, Lucknow uh, probably the think tank goes for a toss when sending the players whom to send first and whom. They waste players like Holder and uh, Stoinis in the end. Uh, uh, let me stay with you and ask one more uh, about one more of your favorite bowlers. This is Hasan Hasanaga. He didn't have a good match today, right? Yeah, he bowled two overs. The first over yeah, was true. 10 and the second over uh, probably also went for 10. I'm not yeah. saying that uh, yeah. he had a great game, but uh, yeah. you see today, you have to give credit to the captain. The difference between the two match today, I feel, was the captain Shiva Fab, the place. Not because he scored runs, but the way he utilized his bowlers. He was using the bowlers according to the batsman coming onto the crease. And that credit has to be given to him without taking away from anything from uh, Fab. I would say that uh, he was bang on. And yes, Hasranga was not up to the mark as he always is. But one day you will have a bad game. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Gautama Anis makes a good statement about uh, Faf Duplessis' captaincy. If Faf Duplessis is not the explosive kind of captain, you won't see him uh, talking much, saying much, or expressing much. 
but he's there with the with his bowling changes his fielding field setting he is pretty much there and shaba especially where the the, the time he introduced shaba samad into the attack four overs 25 runs for and one wicket i thought that that had a very good impact on the game what did you feel about that Yes, uh, but, you know, with with the choice of spinners that he had, he brought Shabazz on in the in the power play itself. Shabazz did the job, and uh, but yes, uh, you know, one of the reasons why Hasaranga may not have been that effective today, I thought that you know there wasn't much grip on the on the wicket for the spinners. I mean, it, neither could uh, Bishnoi make much of an impact early on. But uh, yes, he he believes in getting the job done. I mean, after you know being there and done that. He he believes in getting the job done, and I've got quite a bit of faith on him. I mean, the, still, the team has quite a few holes. We can talk about it later on, or keep it for some other day, you know. But uh, yes, <laughs> that all the teams have. <laughs> yeah, quite a revelation. No, I mean, I I would have picked your brains and Anis Bhai's brains about Kohli's dismissal today. If, if some other if, day, <laughs> yeah, some other day. Yes. <laughs> no, Kohli, Kohli, Kohli himself is a one one full episode actually. So mm-hmm. let, let's leave that for another, another day. And I had something in mind that when your Kohli thing just uh, uh, threw threw me out of kilter there. Uh, so uh, is there anything anything more you need to add, uh, Charvi? Uh, well, I think uh, it was a good game of cricket. Then uh, you know went on to become a one-sided one after the 16th over. So, uh, but kudos to RCB uh, on um, their decisions that they made. They set the field right. They had the fielders at the right spots, and uh, some we've seen some good catches come in play too. We had one catch that you know uh, we had the uh, the fielder come running sprinting in uh, at the backward point region, and you know that catch was uh, was of Krunal Pandya good by. Uh, you know, a uh, Prabhu Desai. That that was, I yeah. think, that was that was one of the turning points of the game. And if not for that catch, I think Ronald Pandya would have taken the match through all the way because he was looking in good touch. That's true. But I just uh, was uh, Anis made one uh, statement about uh, about lack of intent from left now. Do you agree with that? Um, there probably was a little bit of a lack of intent. Um, I, I wouldn't 100% agree to it. But I just feel that a lot, the odds were not in their favour. And uh, the batsmen, they hurried through to get to the total, hoping for a fact that, you know, they thought they were going to run out of the 20 overs. So let's hurry through it. They did not see through some of the difficult overs. Now the pacers, they were getting a little bit of an odd bounce also. And because of that, if you see most of the most of the wickets that fell, that fell off the balls that hit the seam, they hit the deck on the seam, and they got that odd bounce and they got a top edge. Some of those essential wickets fell like that to the uh, to the pacers. Okay, I I, I totally get what uh, Anis was saying because there was at no point there was a haste, there was no hurry, uh, so you never felt like they were chasing. I got the impression they were trying to dig deep into the gear in the into the game simply because they have a whole lot of uh, all rounders coming down the way. But Kodam, did you ever feel that they they uh, uh, Lucknow was in the game and they're chasing? Um, no, no, I did not. I mean, no, no, no. This is to Gautam. I don't know. Sorry. Yes, I'm not okay. really because you know they 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 lack that that partnership you know that that 70 odd partnership which uh, faf and uh, shabaz uh, got you know mm-hmm. something like that was missing so they now need to decide that whether they're going to bring you know they've got two quality all rounders in jason holder and stoinis whether they are going to be their number 4 or 5 or it, they they will keep on with uh, krunal and uh, you know then uh, badoni that that's the thing which they have to decide if they look at maturity people who can change uh, you know the, the the pace of their innings. Effectively, the lack of a partnership and uh, somewhat over dependence on KL Rahul again, which was the undoing of the chase. So actually, they have a very very, well, uh, very good batting side there with Quinton Deacock and uh, and uh, Rahul. They they have a, one of the best opening players in in IPL. And to coming back to this intent thing. Uh, there was only one brief spell when I thought they were really serious about chasing. That is when Kunal and uh, uh, Rahul were together. 
after that i mean it, it just uh, wilted actually the whole taste wilted and uh, like i said it promised so much initially and it just uh, i mean uh, it was all that promise never came through a damn squib yeah exactly finally and uh, okay before we uh, wrap this up uh, anisha uh, tell us about the contest oh yeah every day we have a wonderful competition for all all our golf news fans and uh, you got to pray the winner which is difficult to be very honest last seven have all gone wrong and you walk away with a beautiful track set uh, which is a t-shirt uh, track suit as well as a cap and a digital subscription from golf news for a year and i have been getting all my predictions wrong but that does not stop me from predicting but today also i wrote a piece predicting about my latest predictions okay what tomorrow we have delhi capitals against the punjab kings so what's your pick charvi uh, well i think it's uh, it's probably going to be a good game because both the teams they need to get those two points to climb up on the table and uh, it will be a good fight but i guess i will i will you know i will stand by delhi capitals and uh, you know because why? Uh, sorry why <laughs> why delhi capitals um, you know yeah. they they're not they're not such a bad side and uh, i think they deserve to win they this they deserve to win but they have won only two out of the five games that's why i asked why <laughs> this it's a long you know it's a long tournament we still have almost a month to go and um, right. you know we we we're all part of a funny game called cricket t20 format you never know when the tables turn around tomorrow i will not be surprised if mumbai climbs up the table and wins all their remaining games and they'll be part of the qualifiers so anything uh, can happen we still have a we still have an entire month to go and uh, you know i'm uh, watching the game so closely day in and out uh, taking the game through ball by ball so you know it's it's you, you know it can be anybody's day uh, punjab are doing very well no doubts about it but you know i will second i will second delhi uh, perhaps uh, because i'd like to see them win uh gautam do you subscribe to the charvis theory that will the delhi needs to win delhi had been showing uh, quite i mean delhi is not the same delhi which we have seen over the last three seasons really i mean there had been i mean it's it's the opening partnership which is firing they're suddenly missing the like of a, a share share at number 4 a couple of things are there and even in the attack i mean uh, they they have to do without uh, andrik nokke so i think i will i'll say it 60 14 favor of uh, punjab uh, anil what about you i have been always backing delhi because of the firepower but now what has developed in the camp after that uh, mithul marsh uh, you know catching covid i don't know how mentally prepared they are they have been under quarantine so i'll back punjab yeah and what you make a very very good point there because that covid i think uh, it will definitely have an impact on this game so i think punjab would be in a better frame for me than i will go with you guys so charvi you are the only one for delhi and we three are with punjab let's see how it pans out tomorrow but thank you for tuning in thank you for being with us uh, for the uh, for the latest developments and updates please log on to golfnews.com and all our social media channels till tomorrow good night